This is one of my favorite lessons in geometry, angle of elevation and angle of depression. Because I get to draw pictures every single time, right? If you don't draw a picture, it's going to be pretty hard to solve. Um, so first off, the angle of elevation, it kind of makes sense, right? Angle formed by the horizontal line and observes his line of sight. So let's just take a look. Everything is based off the horizontal. So you just got to remember that, based off horizontal. So for example, there's a horizontal, the line of sight from the horizontal, elevation means we're going up, so boom, angle of elevation depending on whatever degree this is, okay, it could be x degrees. So it's based off the horizontal, elevation goes up. Angle of depression, same thing except now it goes down, but it's based off of the horizontal. So if I have a horizontal line, it's based off that. So the depression goes down an X amount of degrees. Okay, and we're going to take a look on how it's easy to get confused with the angle of depression. So just be careful. So first of all, let's look at angle of elevation. At a circus, a person in the audience at ground level watches the high wire routine. A five foot, six inch tall acrobat is standing on a platform that is 25 feet off the ground. How far is the audience member from the base of the platform? If the angle of elevation from the audience member's line of sight to the top of the acrobat's head is 27 degrees. Holy buckets, a lot of stuff here. Okay, so let's just draw ourselves a little picture. So I got a person watching this acrobatic act right here. Yeah, and from their eyes, there's a platform way over here. So let's draw this little platform. Just kind of like this. And there's a little platform. And then we got another person, an acrobat, standing up on this platform. Right there. Okay. Well, it says that the person is 5 feet 6 inches tall. Yes, yeah, so I know this person is 5 feet 6 inches. And it says that the platform is 25 feet off the ground. So the platform distance, so this five feet six inches is just the person. And the platform is 25 feet. So we're looking at right here. And now we got an angle elevation from the audience member's line of sight to the top of the acrobat's head. So that means line of sight to the top of his head right there and it says it's 27 degrees so it's an angle of elevation and if you notice what did I just make I made a right triangle okay and what do we want to try to find how far the audience member is from the base of the platform so how far from the base so we're literally looking for I will just call this X this distance that horizontal distance audience member to the base well, we know how to solve right triangles. We just did all our trig ratios the other day, right? So let's take a look. Well, hold up. Before we do anything, if I look at the height of this triangle, that's basically this from the top of his head to the base of the platform, I need to add the 5 feet 6 inches to the 25 feet so I can have the entire height of that platform. Well, we don't want to deal with different units, so i got to convert this 5 feet 6 inches to uh, all in feet probably because that's what we're looking for. So six inches would be what? Six out of 12 inches gives me, that's half of a foot. So this is really 5.5 feet instead, 5.5 feet. So we have a total height of what? 25 plus 5.5, which gives us 30.5. So this is 30.5 feet for the whole height of that triangle. And we're looking for X. So remember, you always gotta look at what trig ratio do I wanna use? Well, I know Got to look at the angle. I know the opposite, and I'm looking for the adjacent. So which one is opposite over adjacent? That would be our tangent, right, our TOA. So I'm looking at the tangent of 27 degrees equals opposite, 30.5 over X, the adjacent. And remember, we can't have the variable in the denominator, so to get it out, we multiply it by both sides. Remember our trick from the other day, what ends up happening is that these two guys just switch spots. So to solve for x, we take 30.5 divided by the tangent of 27. And go ahead and use your calculator, 30.5 divided by the tangent of 27. And we get about 
59.859, so 8.6 or 59.9 feet. That would be our horizontal distance. Yep. So it's all about drawing that picture and then using the trig ratio. Sometimes you might have to do a conversion. Just got to read carefully. Okay, let's do a depression one. This is one where it gets a little bit trickier. So Maria's at the top of a cliff and sees a seal in the water. If the cliff is 40 feet above the water, the angle of depression is 52 degrees. What is the horizontal distance from the seal to the cliff? All right, so I'm going to draw my cliff here. Bam. Maria, she's kind of sitting right up here. Just like that. She's got some pretty hair. And we got a seal down here in the water. So water. And here's a seal. I don't know what a seal is. He's got an eye, I suppose. There we go. And the and what we know, the cliff is 40 feet tall. So let's put that in there, 40 feet. So here's the tough part. This is what I see a lot of people do. They'll see angle of depression is 52 degrees. So they'll do this. They'll be like, oh, well, I'll just draw my right triangle right here. And what they want to do is they want to put 52 degrees right here. That is incorrect. Do not do that. Because what do we talk about in that first slide? Everything is based off of what? The horizontal. So you got to think about this horizontal right here. The angle of depression is based off of that. So this is 52 degrees for the angle of depression. So just be careful with the angle of the depression. Because what does that make in my right triangle? That makes this angle, well, 90 minus 52, which gives me... 38 degrees. So just be careful with that. Okay. Well, we know that it's 40 feet tall. We're looking for the horizontal distance. So we're looking for this distance, which is X. Same thing. Find what trig ratio you want to use. Okay. We're looking at the angle of 38. I know the opposite. Or I'm looking for the opposite. And I know the adjacent. So same thing. We're using our tangent, our TOA. So let's go ahead and get this set up. So we got the tangent of 38 degrees equals opposite, which is x, over adjacent, which is 40. This time, we just multiply by 40 on both sides. Cancel, 40. So we got the tangent of 38 times 40. And that gives us... So x equals 31.2, and we're in what, feet here? About 31.2 feet. Oh, what did I say? Round to the nearest foot. My fault. So we need to get rid of that point too. It's just about 31 feet. It's about 31 feet. There you go. So just careful with the angle of the pressure, right? It's based off the horizontal. We're going to look at another one just so we, we make sure we got this down. So Vernon is on the top deck of a cruise ship and observes two dolphins following each other directly away from the ship in a straight line. Vernon's position is 154 meters above sea level, and the angles of depression to the two dolphins are 35 degrees and 36 degrees. Find the distance between the two dolphins to the nearest meter. All right, let's go get our picture here. This is the best part. So he's got a cruise ship. That's uh, cruise ship right there. Vernon, he's standing up about right here. Perfect. Okay. And he sees two dolphins following each other directly away. So we got some water down here. Do, 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 do. And who we got? We got dolphin number one. He's got a fin, I think, and an eye. Dolphin number two. He's got a fin and an eye. Perfect. Okay. It says Vernon's position is 154 meters above sea level. Okay, so we're going up 154 meters. And we got this horizontal distance, these dolphins here. And let's see here. So dolphin number one's about right here. Dolphin number two's about right here. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be drawn perfectly to scale. So here's the tricky part. It says angles of depression of the two dolphins are 35 and 36 degrees. Remember, angle of depression is based off the horizontal. So I always like to draw my little dashed horizontal in so I can kind of see. Here's my horizontal from his line of sight. So we're thinking that we got one going to this dolphin. Okay, so it comes off the horizontal. Well, that's got to be the 35 degrees because that's a little bit less than 36. So the next one's going to be a little more. And then the next one, going to the other dolphin. So from the horizontal. So this guy is 36 degrees. Okay. Going right here to that angle. Well, let's take a look at the two triangles that we got now. Okay. This triangle's going to get a little tougher. So I got my little angle right here for this, this triangle. Um, and that's what? 90 minus 36. 
because I'm looking at this whole thing right here. So 90 minus 36 gives me 54. So this is 54 degrees. And then let's look at a bigger triangle, which goes right here. Well, that's 90 minus 35. I take a look at that. And that gives us 55 degrees. Well, how do I want to solve this? Okay, let's bring in a couple variables still. So I could use y for the distance of that second dolphin. And I could use x for the distance of that first dolphin. And if I take y minus x, that'll give me what I'm looking for for this distance right here, the distance between them. Okay, so some people might actually want to draw their triangles separately over here. It might just help be a little bit better to solve. So you're looking at a height of 154. My small triangle has 54 degrees in here, and we're looking for x. My other triangle, same height, 154. Now I got 55 degrees for an angle, and we're looking for y, and we're going to subtract those two in the end. Well, let's take a look. What trig ratio are we going to use? Okay, I want to know the opposite, and I have the adjacent. That's for both those, right? Want to know the opposite, have the adjacent. So we're using TOA, we're using tangent for both. Okay, so let's set up for x here. So I got the tangent of 54 equals x over 154. And over here for y, I got the tangent of 55 equals y over 154. So really we're multiplying by 154 for both these. Times 154 times 154. Same thing over here, multiply by 154, that cancels, okay. So I'm taking 154 times the tangent of 54. So x I get about 211.96, and for y, 154 times the tangent of 55 instead, and we get 219.93. And if I subtract those two, I end up with about, what, 8? 7.9, so about, so when I subtract these two, I end up with about 8 meters. I was in meters that whole time, right? Boy, that took a little lot of work, right? I had to draw the picture, I had to figure out, you know, what was I trying to find? I had to use the angle of depression, a lot of little things there, okay? So the biggest thing is, if you don't draw your picture right, you're not going to be able to solve this correctly. Okay, so take your time when drawing your pictures, figure out what right triangles you're using, think about what trig ratio you need to use as well. And there we go.